Hey, 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 y'all. It's Barb, me. I'm back. My channel. Yes, this is the B-Rex PR Goddess One channel. As you can tell, I'm on day, let's see, I started Thursday night, so Friday? Friday, Saturday, Sunday, Monday, Tuesday. I'm on day five of ten of antibiotics, so I'm starting to sound a little bit more like the land of the humans. If you're new to my channel, thank you. Love to have you. If you are a return viewer, thanks for stopping by as well. Uh, either way, I do not own a specific upload schedule. So if you want to get my new content when it comes out, you got to be sure to subscribe and hit notifications or else the YouTube goblins will not bring you new notifications of my stuff. So now that we've said that, my channel name, B Rex the PR Goddess One, which is known as the Glamazon, the Beauty Horde, the Hot Mess. That is I. I am right now downstairs in the office corner, aka my desk and my bookcase, the library. And I'm going to show you a few of the things that I got in the mail, because again, mail call comes. Um, just FYI today, things that have come. My book order from Amazon, more of the little Amazon um, Prime Day sales. Uh, another freebie thing I found online that I thought was awesome. Um, Ipsy came, and I have a bunch of Prime Day sale that I was able to put on Tribe before you buy. Um, that's close that'll be tomorrow or another day because life is hard I had committee tonight and I got home made dinner husband's getting what I have I think and uh yeah pretty much I'm beat <coughs> sorry the asthma and the bronchitis are still not playing well I'm on day five not on day 10 so we're working on it so right now I'm going to start with what's in the box to misquote from our friend in on in the movie seven so if you saw my first Amazon Prime Day unboxing, you noticed that I mentioned House Laboratories, a.k.a. Lady Gaga's beauty line, that used to be exclusive to Amazon. It is now crossed over, and I believe it's available at Sephora. I might have seen something from them at Ulta, but I'm not sure. So it seems that Amazon decided now is the perfect time to put their, her, a lot of her shit on sale. Not all of it, but a lot of it. 70% off for Prime Day. So I fucked around and found out. So here we are. So remember I told you that Casa Gaga Italian line collection, that was that special gold label line. They had the gel powder. It looks like a regular powder, but it has like a creamy gel texture, but it's not oily and it goes on fine even if you have oily skin. Well, the, the highlighter came and I showed you that in my prior video. So um, just scroll down. I don't know how to do links and live things in my screen. I film off my freaking phone. I'm a Gen Xer. Give me a break. I'm an end user. I'm not a, a, I'm not a whiz. I have a real life, like called work, 50 hours a week. I work 12 hour days sometimes. Bite me. So um, there were blushes to it. There's also mini lipsticks that I did not get. There was a um, highlighter brush, which was sold out if you bought it alone. It was only available if you bought the entire collection in a box kit, which I did not want because I don't need six mini lipsticks and a little makeup case for it, plus a mini train case and then everything. And I didn't even have all the blush colors because there's like four of these little blushes that are these same gel powder all over rouge. And um, I liked two of the four or five shades. One was very coral and one was very, very reddish. Then they had like a, a brownish and yeah. So the, the shade Bellini is very peachy orange. That's this first one. And then the other shade that I had opened is the shade... Spritz? Spritz. I think this is the more reddish one. I think it's kind of cool that they have gold tape to seal on the label, both sides. So I technically have to open these with like a razor. I did not bring one with me, so let's try the side of the scissor. And I don't like to mess up the box where the letters and all the stuff are, so I'm going to try and slice in along the bottom very carefully. Now, these should have the same kind of... I'm going to cut them both at the same time. Same kind of packaging for the actual compact as the larger size compact of the highlighter did. And the highlighter only came in one color, which is a beautiful, like, not too bronze, but not too champagne pale, not too gold, not too peach. It was like the perfect in between everything shade. And it was gorgeous for, I think any skin coat could wear it because they showed it on models that made like 
there they weren't quite Alec or anything, but they were not like, you know, me. And then they had somebody more in the middle, almost me, and then pale girls. So they tried. And the one that was kind of in the middle had like a slight ethnically ambiguous, am I Asian? Am I something else? Okay, that might not have been enough to cut them in because I'm still having problems. I didn't realize this was going to be an issue. So I like that they took this extra time. But if they could have just cut one instead of all of them, because now look, I tried not to do that and I did that. I'm not happy. And that was with what? Bellini, of course, because you know me, all things peachy orange. Trying not to fuck around and find out. And yet here we are fucking around and finding out. Sorry. It's just some days it'd be like that. So let's go back to breaking our heart with Bellini, who we could not get open before. Oh, look, she opens now. Yes, now that I got the actual cutting part done, my nice dull bladed but gorgeous letter opener is, uh, this is back from when I was an intern in college. It was one of the cheapies that could be ordered from the supply closet, and the lady that I reported to ordered it for me. She said I could take it with me when I left and um, graduated college and went to my old real job because it was like 87 cents. I love that thing. So it is the same kind of packaging. I'm sorry, I don't have my computer out, so my ring light is not plugged into anything. So it's a magnetic closure, gold rimmed, like a creamy white gold lettering that's like from, I can't tell if it's an overspray or if it's just like they brushed white over a gold compact. And this is the all over, I already washed my face, so I'm not going to put it on there, but I just did this and it's subtle. I'm not pressing. But again, oh, it's very lovely. You'd see it more if I had my lights on, which of course, God fucking forbid, I film a video the right way. You know what? This little bastard. The work phone. I don't use the work phone for anything. It's, it's an iPhone. I don't know how to use it very well because it didn't come with a manual. But you should have a flashlight. Yes, you do. Oh, let's see if I can do it like this. There we go. Faux ring light. Is that helping? A little bit actually let's try and get a color this is more what it looks like in the light and that didn't work i think i cut something off yeah needless to say don't allow i don't want to be here i don't want to be taking pictures i just wanted my flashlight on there you go so you can see what the color looks like more it is a very shimmery lovely good thing I'm happy I have it. I'll try and f take these out and do some stills and put them on my Instagram in the light so you can see. I'm just going to throw these little packets out because I don't need them. And while we're here, we're already doing traumatic, ugly things. Let's try it the same way to open our dear friend Spitz, which is more of the reddish shit. And I didn't do that. He was in there already like that. So whoever packaged him in the factory didn't take care. Or the machine, if it was a machine package, didn't take care. I don't like that, because I like to keep my packaging if it's unique. Same. Definitely more of a reddish to the other one. Much easier to see even without the bright light. So that's the paler one. That's more of a peach, and that's more of a coral red. So I'm going to have fun layering these two together, because that's how I roll. I don't know, I'm in the mood to swear tonight. Like, that's how I roll, bitches! So, yeah, just a uh, gangster barb tonight. I don't know why. It's just feeling right. Okay, the next Head Rush Blush and Highlighter Duo. So, when ColourPop started doing, like, regular pressed products instead of just their Super Shock formulas for shadows and highlighters, they started with these big square, like, blush and or highlighter or bronzer duos that were shaped like this. So, this is very reminiscent to me of... That's the vibe I'm getting from these. And I kind I have three of those that I love. I just can't part with. I take them out. I use them once. I look at them. I stare at them. I take pictures. I put them away. Weird. Um, yeah. So they had like four or five different shades of these. I'm a sucker for a good coral or peach, sometimes with some bright red in it. And I love me some goldish highlights. Not too bronze, not too champagne-y. So it is a similar kind of feel where you get the mirror. It's... These are again, so these are actually like plastic and magnetic. These are more expensive, you can tell. These are more the, um, for the compacts. These are the magnetized cardboard. And it has a little cover, but this one is faded to black. House Laboratories. 
I have a little bit of her fan perfume left. I love that fucking perfume. And look at these colors. So yeah, I do have a type because this is exactly what uh, one of my duos from ColourPop looks like. Like, that's crazy. Like, they're probably made at the same lab. Like, how Kylie and, and ColourPop used to be made at the same lab before Cody bought them out. But again, things. Okay, I'm going to use these two fingers because these two still have the Casa Gaga blushes. So, this is more of a matte. Very creamy. A little chalky, but not crazy. It's kind of between the other two. And then, obviously, this is all highlight. Blush topper bathe myself in it it looks like a weird crusty pink here again i'll do this is 11 at night i'm going to try and do some swatches and stuff with the sun tomorrow like not during work or maybe i'll have to wait till this weekend because hashtag work but this color duo is called head rush and i never know how these are supposed to be i'm assuming that it tells you okay so untamed is hold on let me just hold it up so when I am looking at the back, it tells me Untamed is this side, so probably this guy. And this one right here is Intoxicate, so the matte one is supposedly Intoxicate. Oh, and it says it on the front, too. Dumbass. Don't mind me. I have not been sleeping well with the waking up coughing because the nighttime cold medicine does not have cough suppressant. So I had some of my traditional medicinals today to try and alleviate that issue. And then... What else we have here? Hold up. I have a tissue. I'm going to take this off. And a little bit of hand sanitizer from the stop and, uh, shop right from back in the day. It's lavender scented. It smells amazing. I'm just going to put it over where the swatches are and the swatch fingers and then use this to wipe up. Because again, it's not quite using a wipe. It's not as 100%, but it's better than nothing. Because again, I'm sitting in the office. Like, normally my computer's under here, but it's still in my computer bag. Okay, so the next thing I have here is the Edge Precision Brow Pencil in the shade Brown Black. It's supposed to be like an ultra-thin, almost like, a, I guess, an ABH Brow Wiz or the Micro Fine one from NYX, which I love. And it's like half the price. And this was on sale for like six bucks instead of 20-something. So again, if you're going to try these things, now is the time. Because the Blush Duo was on sale for $7.20 instead of like $28. Because again, it's ColourPop basically. And then the Casa Gagas were on sale for I think $9 each. And they were originally like $30. And I was like, how about no? Okay, so this is way shorter than what you get from NYX or from Anastasia Beverly Hills. I'm going to first start off with that. And when you take off the end and you find out that that much is all spoolie, how much product do you really have in here? Let's see. That much product. So this is basically like a, a deluxe sample size. So $6, sure. You can check and see how small the uh, micro fine tip is, the shade brown black. So um, it reminds me of the, the NYX espresso shade, which is like my jam. Although I will mix the shade charcoal in there sometimes. Would I have paid $23 for this? I'd have sent this shit back, it's too small. And uh, $6? Maybe. I mean, it depends on how it holds, because I'll be honest with you. I got one twice, almost twice as long, similar tip, just as good from LA Girl. And that one, I waited for it to go on sale from $4.99 to like $2.49. Yeah. Oh, yeah. And every time it goes on sale now, I buy like two more. And I get their black, their brown black, and then they're like charcoal. And I kind of mix them depending on my moods. Oh, and then what else do we have? A Lay Monster Matte Lip Crayon in the shade Pusher. Now, again, there are some gel eyeliners coming. I also have a liquid liner and more of these lip crayons in some different colors. I tried to break it up because, again, since some of them allowed you to put them on subscribe and save and get even more off, I was like, all right, well, then what I'll do, my subscribe and save comes is mailed to arrive on the 28th. So I'll give me another paycheck between here and there because, again, I'm trying to pay for things on the debit card, not the credit card. So that way we can pay down credit cards and, you know, everything is where it needs to be. So, some now, some later. And that's how that shit ran. So, I know we're already at 14 minutes. I haven't even showed you the books. So, this is supposed to be the color. So, it's kind of like a, uh, a brick. It's like one of those lip crayons that's already sharpened. Like the Bite Beauty ones. And you just, it's supposed to be matte. 
think I paid five forty for it, and it was originally like twenty eight bucks. So for five bucks, sure, reminds me of like when they put the Bite Beauties on sale. So that's kind of where I'm at with this. So Casa Gaga, all blush and face. Got three of these, and then lips and brows. I'm looking forward to playing with you. Oh, and by the way, yeah, I tried a different way to do my gel today so it came out looking it kept the shape shorter but it's like weird i don't know we had big rainstorms yesterday it's probably humidity too so i'm gonna say that's that and then i got some cool books they were buy one there was a certain selection that was buy one get one half off of that selection i got trevor noah born a crime about his life growing up in a part at the end of apartheid in south africa and his rise to fame and coming to this country and all that cool stuff. And I've heard good things about this book. So I bought this one and I got this other one I had been looking at for the longest and had been in and out of my cart probably more times than hookers drop trow <coughs> for the last three years. And so finally it was like, oh, I can buy Trevor and get half off this guy. Okay. <coughs> Sorry. Then two of the other books in that I broke them up so that way I'd get half off of the cheaper ones you know buy one cheap get half off the other cheap and then buy one ex uh, um, expensive and get half off the expensive so I put it into order so they came separately so these are two different journals you know I'm a journal collector all different types so this is the burn after writing and this one is cool because has all kinds of prompts and things in there for you to fill out so you don't have to look at a blank page if you want some inspiration at the end of the day you just got to get something out of you to feel like you're settled and you can sleep and put your day behind you, but you're like looking at a blank page. Like sometimes I go to my blank journals and I'm literally just like, uh, so yeah, I like the ones with props. I have a bunch of them. Start with gratitude. This is a great one. I think he was, it doesn't have a recommended MSRP at the back. It doesn't. I don't remember. He had to be under 10 bucks because they have them that range like 20 bucks and up for these gratitude journals. I've seen $30 ones. And then I see them for $6.99. You do you. Find the one that works for you. I'm almost done with that one because there's like a slot of day and you're supposed to like circle what, what day of the week it is and put your date in. And then we've got this guy. And I've seen this one in all different cover styles too. So the same content of a burn after writing. I don't know if it's the exact page for page or if they have like slightly different like Mad Libs kind of thing, but it looks cool. I've got a whole bunch of these different ones now from the burn after writing and some of them might be gifts for people for birthdays and holidays coming up you know i'm just saying and then this one that had been making me laugh every time i looked at it and i was glad it was in that sale let that shit go and this one is by monica sweeney it's a journal for leaving behind your bullshit and creating a happy life now, i know a lot of people on well, this one is msrp of 14.99 i did not pay 14.99 burn after writing there's a whole series of them by sharon jones um and this one was supposedly $14. I did not pay that. I think this was listing for seven. So yeah. And check because I know I've seen different versions of this one at Target online. Um, I think sometimes you can even find like used but not like used as in somebody bought it and returned it without writing in it. That's what kind of used I mean because it's weird when you get to a notebook or a journal for a used option on Amazon. But check. You never know. So this one's all black and white. And this one in here even has some color. So it'll be fun to see who gets what or if I keep them all for myself. And then I got some little surprise things. Some custom jewelry for myself and some of my girlfriends and my mom and stuff like that. So that finally came in. I'm still waiting on my Labradorite ring from India from the Etsy people. And then at that point I will write everything up. And then I'm just going to make one big long one because I don't have time to come in and out and all. So then last is my July Ipsy. And again, I've decided now that, look, yes, I'm not happy with how the add-ons are being done. But if I do add-ons at the day that the, you, they reveal what your Ipsy is, they add it and let you get points on it. So that's the only way I'm going to do my add-ons from now on. Other than that, I would shop either like flash sales if it was something really good or the same with Ipsy offers. It's going to have to be really, really good. So they gave me a bigger one with a smaller unlabeled one inside to separate out things. I'm just going to take it all out and stick it up here because I really want to just throw this in the friggin' trash. And some of these things, like, I'm sorry, this is this is too fucking small to charge. $350 plus shipping, plus tax, plus handling. Fuck you, Ipsy. I love you guys when you first started, but over time, both you and even Boxy. Like, I was late to the Boxy game, but even in the, the year I've been there now. Oh, yeah, shit. I think I signed up for my first one in July. 
last year. Things have changed, and I'm not liking change. And I know that people, as Conan O'Brien, were saying, oh, you know, everybody's saying that prices have gone up or been changed or increased due to the circumstances. Well, let me tell you what the circumstances are doing. They're fucking picking, pissing off all the people that are not the Uber 0.00001% rich. Whatever. Ranting. Eat the rich. Forget culture war. Go for class war. They're trying to distract you. Anyway. So, let's start with these add-ons that are up in here, up in here. This is the Mac Stack um, Super Stack Micro Brush Mascara that everybody's been talking about. Like, Johnny Ross has jokes with the shopping at Mac. I love it. Because he went looking for this and that. And I thought it was hilarious. This was one of my options to pick. For my choice, I chose not to because I thought this is going to give me five little pills of shit. So, no. But we'll see how it works. Then I selected another one of these F.A. I guess it's Farrah just with dots in between. Cosmetics liquid matte lipsticks. Um, the first time I think I got a shade called Coco. This one is Sienna. It looks like they shrank it since the last time they were offering it. Then... Uh, I got another one of the Glow Recipe Watermelon Glow Niacinamide Dew Drops, 5 milliliters, 0.16 fluid ounces. I had one of these. I, I swear this one looks smaller than the last one from like six months ago. I took it traveling with me when we went away for the wedding and then when we went away on our little impromptu trip for 4th of July. Loved it. You look, I mean... I, I know my husband always says, you don't need makeup. My mother says it too. And like, I have nothing on right now. And really, all I did was put on clear brow gel today and some sunscreen. But um, I could put this on and I just feel like I'm done. And I know a lot of people say that, but I feel it and it's real. Okay, then I got the Derma E Essentials Overnight Peel with Alpha Hydroxy Acids. I love their serum. I have a vitamin C oil with shimmer in it that was like a collab. It was amazing. And I think I have a big one of these somewhere in my overstock bin. I can't find it. So in the meantime, yes. Oh, yeah. I've um, come to the point where between being rushed with 12-hour days, recovering from surgery, dealing with putting down two cats in one year due to sudden fatal health care, health issues from them, fighting with my insurance company, fighting with my disability insurance, fighting with my supplemental disability insurance, um, crazy neighbors, um, random car issues. Yeah, and lots of other everyday stuff when working 12-hour days. I realized that I have now misplaced a certain number of things and that by saying, oh, I'll clean that later. I'll move that later. Let me just put this here for now. My house looks like it's exploded, so I'm not happy. So, yeah. Um, so, when I find the full one, I'll use it. But in the meantime, I have that. Okay, Araceli Beauty. Love their stuff, just like I also love Alamard. Araceli makes some bomb-ass eyeliners. Their gel eyeliners are better than the, the Urban Decay. Fuck it. They are. I like them better. They don't maybe have as many colors right now. They've got bronze, sangria, gold, um, brown, black. Did I see another one? I don't, I don't know. But I have them all, and they had the bronze on sale again for $3.50. Because, again, now $3 ones are $3.50. So I nabbed another one because, girl, let me tell you, these go on like you don't even feel them. They give you some time to play if you want to smudge them. If you don't, they set nice. And... They are waterproof. They don't budge once they set. And when you go to take them off, they're not a pain in the ass. They don't itch. They don't water. And I wear contacts. Plus, I have water. Very sensitive eyes from the contacts. Plus, allergies. So, I don't fuck around. Like, I do have Ramel ones that I love that are nice and smooth. But they water off my eye, water line. These don't do that. So, I got another one of those. This Zion Health Hydrating Lip Balm in Orange Blossom. This was a gift for purchase because I spent over, I think, 20 bucks in minis. Uh, Ethan Dolan signature scent from Wakeheart. This is so tiny, but I had bought the big $26 spray bottle. It's nice. It has zero staying power on me. So it's light as fuck. It's almost like a body mist. So now I have a little one to keep there or wherever to touch myself up and roll up. Touch myself up. Jesus, is that even allowed? This is only 3.5 milliliters. I mean... It's almost the size of a perfume sample you used to get for free in the store when you went shopping, but whatever. Then I'm a sucker for the Skylar perfumes to a degree, like the ones that smell in a scent range I like, not too flowery, not too like fresh. I don't want to wear a freshener. If I want to wear something that smells like fresh linen, I'll rub my Glade solid on me and that was 82 cents. I realized after the fact I had gotten the Vanilla Sky already, plus I have the candle from them. 
Um, so now I have a backup. And Vanilla Sky is the Cappuccino Pure Vanilla and Caramelized Cedar Scent. Very lovely. Too bad we don't have smell of vision You can't smell it. But then I nabbed their Coconut Cove, which had been like a seasonal special that they were offering before on like Sephora and stuff. And this one is Bergamot, Coconut, and Ambrox, which is like similar to Amber, which is my jam. So yeah, they were 12 bucks each. That's where I got that free lip balm, right there. The other stuff was just extra. So here's my choice item that I did pick because I went for the biggest thing. Everything else they were offering me were little sample shits like this. I was like, fuck no. I want something big. So I got this, which is the Mosaic Trend Beauty Eyeshadow Palette. It's cheap makeup, I can tell, because the first ingredient is mica, talc, magnesium, blah, blah, blah. Eh, I don't have a high... It's your typical cardboard, magnetic, big mirror. Uh, three, six, nine, twelve, fifteen pans, kind of small. I have Moira Cosmetics like this, Beauty Creations. They're not horrible. I mean, but they're not like Natasha Denona or the Mothership. So, like, I, like, this is like to fuck around and find out, like, on playing around work days, that like a Friday, casual Friday, where you're not doing anything, no important meetings, I'd wear this. I'm going to do laundry and sweat shorts or go for a walk, but I want to do my eyes. I'm going to use this, but we'll see. I mean, like, I think the MSRP on this was like 14 bucks, 15 bucks. So, I mean, $125 palette, $15 palette. Now, I'm not always saying that the quality isn't the same, but nine times out of 10, if you're going to find a chalky palette, it's probably in the $15 range. If you find it at the $125 range, you better bring that shit back. Keep your receipt, return that shit, exchange it for something else. That's bullshit. So, of course, they're trying to hawk the next Glam Bag X, which is all about Alicia Keys being the new person picking stuff. So, if you didn't know, now you know. Don't bother. I mean, like, I have nothing against her, but I'm not like, oh, my God. So, this theme for July is Soak It All In, The Sun, The Shimmer, The SPF. The bag. At least I actually got the advertised bag for once. Lately, they haven't been doing that either. So, I love the starfish because I'm huge on starfish and seahorses when it comes to like oceany stuff oh and i love me an octopus i'm okay with squid like i take them and i love me some sharks so basically i like sea creatures if you're going to give me a summer theme and uh these are the five things they that they put in there so i picked the palette which has the msrp oh sorry 12.50 jesus buy it at friggin five below Okay, in here, I'm supposed to have a perfume, a cleanse, a face cleanser, a face moisturizer, another, an eyeliner, and another perfume. So let's see. Let's start from the top and work our way down. Because we already, on the card, they have the palette at the bottom. So the first thing they have is the new NUE Company Barrier Culture Cleanser, 15 milliliters. It's deluxe sample. The full size is 120 milliliters at $42. Now, they have some good stuff because I got a serum from them that was full size in one of my Ipsy Pluses before I canceled because I was with Ipsy Plus like for a year and a half and I was like, eh, not dealing with it. And that's when I decided to try uh, Boxy instead about the same price. It was bomb. I actually literally put it to the side. I was like, ooh, I'm going to save this for when I have problems. If I have problems with my skin at the change of the season. And then I promptly put it in one of my boxes and it's stuck in a corner I got to get to. So. This I'm actually looking forward to trying, this Barrier Cultural Cleanser. It says it's supposed to be ultra gentle, highly effective face wash, soap-free, sulfate-free, won't strip your skin, removes dirt, pollution, makeup, and helps you fortify your skin barrier with prebiotics, probiotics, and postbiotics. So why don't I just take like grungy fungi and rub it on my face? I don't know. One dollop on da uh, dime size dollop over damp skin, rinse with warm, rinse clean with warm water, like you would wash your face with anything. We'll see how it goes. I have high hopes. But again, I've been disappointed before. Next thing is the Vanilla, B-A-N-I-L-A, -A, like Manila, but with a B, um, company, Miss Flower and Mr. Honey Propolis Rejuvenating Lotion. This is the deluxe sample size, which is, it's white on a pale thing. It's hard for me to see. Uh, made in Korea, 30 milliliters, 1.01 fluid ounce. Okay, so that's not terrible. Like, I would think that'd be like a full size of some of the high-end face lotions. But this full size is supposed to be 150 milliliters. So they give you even more for 38 bucks. Made in Korea. So I think they were Filipino. I don't remember. It's closed. It's nice and sealed. I'll try it. It has honey and propolis, which are good. Lightweight moisturizer. All skin types. Absorbs fast. 
ultra pretty glowy sheen with no highlighter required use it morning and night so i could put this on under my sunscreen and then like if i travel just take this and i have a day cream and a night cream i'm actually happy okay next thing prestige cosmetics waterproof automatic eyeliner and smoky green oh my god i so had this like 10 years ago 15 years ago already back when you could buy them at Ulta or like even some of the other like just like go to Target and buy Prestige now you have to go to Sally Beauty to get Prestige Cosmetics I'm not mad I just I already have had this product full size MSRP eight dollars back when I was buying it MSRP was like 550 times be changing bitches okay and the perfume they sent me was one of those long skinny spray tubes that they give you it looks almost like a rollerball but it's a spray Catherine malandrino transcendent fragrance of course these are usually 10 milliliter little things little tubes they're branded to look just like to me it almost reminds me of their version of a scent bird sample which i do miss and i when i cancel ipsy after the end of the year I'm probably going to, I might keep boxy an extra year just because they seem to have better add-ons. And um, yeah, I might go back to Scentbird. Scent perfume more. So this one, Transcendent, is supposed to smell like confidence, strength, invincibility. Whatever that the fuck is supposed to smell like. On this website, they had more like actual notes of the fragrances. They don't have it here. And I bet with my sinus infection it smells like rubbing alcohol so i can't tell i actually had a catherine malandrino the first time they ever finally gave me perfume as a sample which was after two years with these people and it smelled horrible but one of my friends on instagram had totally wanted it but she didn't get it and she was so bummed and i was like girl pay me for shipping i'll send it to you i don't fucking care give me your address get this out of my house and she did and thank you vonda i appreciate you because that shit was nasty for, at least on my body chemistry i put one spritz on my wrist smelled like a hooker at low tide at the oyster bar horrible horrible so now i'm just gonna package all these little bastards up because i have to go ahead and make my little rounds of writing pleasantries about them so they will send me more points and then we will all be good and happy so saith the lord or whatever so that's me rambling that's what came in my mail today mail call for mail y'all I better get busy. I'm not even swatching these tonight. I'm sorry. I don't have wipes. I don't have good lighting. I don't have patience. I don't have energy. I just stayed awake to take my antibiotic, basically. It's not that I don't love you guys, but it's that, you know, I kind of got shit to do. I got to be up early. I got 9 a.m. meetings tomorrow. I got committee again tomorrow night, third night in a row. And um, yeah, life goes on. Ain't nobody got time for that. So. I promise I will try and get better lighting for these colors. I'll do samples of the, the, the eyeshadow palette at that time. I'll try and go back in and do some swatches with this. And I'll even try and maybe I'll even test it on my face if I have like a sunny day this weekend. I really, I'm going to try and do a separate video where I hold this next to the ones from ColourPop. And we really do a side by side because I swear to God, I am highly suspicious because I'm late to the Gaga party for house beauty. And I'm okay with that because I don't need to, to get every single thing that every single person puts out. But you know what? At 70% off, I wanted to try it. And now I'm not mad I waited for 70% off because if I had to try to tell myself that you need to rationalize paying $40 for this and this showed up looking like a relabeled, you know, sticker slapped on a color pop. I'd have been hella pissed at myself. So I'm going to go brush my teeth and go to sleep. Take off my day clothes and put on some night clothes. And relax. Till I see you next. Stay clean. Stay safe. Stay calm. Stay kind. And uh, I don't know. Today is the swear happy capital of my... Uh, my mood so i'm gonna say it again don't it's been a week and we're only on tuesday it feels like it should be going on friday i love you guys i hope to see you again soon and uh if not you know we'll just see what happens so peace creepy chow kiss i'm out